Okay, so now we do some meditation. This clock says 29, that says 31, so between the two of those clocks it's the right time to start. Always say you should never be a prisoner of time. So let's let go of time and now we can meditate for two hours. Crazy <laughs> said that. <laughs> okay, half an hour. So please, if you can shut your eyes, shut your ears, shut your brain, <laughs> and have some peace and quiet. And seriously, once you close your eyes, at least you are disengaging from the world outside. Yes, you can hear my voice, but that's not going to excite you or stimulate the, the thinking process. It's going to quieten down the inner voice into silence. But to begin with, once we are settled reasonably well, now we become more mindful of our parts of our body starting with your feet. How do your toes feel right now? What I had learned from the first time I started this awareness of the body, I thought my body was relaxed when I started, but then you find that you weren't aware enough to really know that for sure. And as you started focusing on little things like your toes and then working the way up your body, you discovered much more about your physical body and the sensations which you can experience in your physical body. And how some of those sensations you know, are quite disturbing sometimes. And how once you notice them, acknowledge them, and give them this wonderful thing called kindness, how you can relax parts of the body, really relax it, and bring it to a state of ease, which makes the body far more healthy. So I look at my toes, first of all. I don't imagine this, I stay my brain connected to my toes until I can feel their sensations. Toe feelings. And it's amazing that those things exist when you look at it long enough. You can feel those toes, you know how they are. Of course you can know those feelings, you can wiggle the toes and you know you're wiggling them. There are sensations there, we take them for granted. Instead of just knowing them. And then you can relax those feelings. Until your toes are just so much at ease. This is like reflexology, like a foot massage. But you do it yourself. Not with your hands, but with your mind. With kindness. And then I move up from my toes to my feet, the soles of my feet, the uppers, the skin, the heels. You ask, how do they feel? At first, it's not a strong feeling there. It's not like pain or an ache. But there's a certain feeling I recognize in my feet. I make sure it's at ease. It's so kind with my mindfulness. Everything kinds of relax, it relaxes. I imagine this, but it's just as if I was just resting my two feet on this soft, cotton-filled cushion. So there's no tension in my feet at all. I move the attention to my ankles. I'm getting old now, sorry, 
estate. I am old now. And when I look at my ankles, they're not as strong as when I was a young man. But still, I can feel them, relax them, ease them. <coughs> so they remain strong. And I can feel those ankles. And what happens when I relax them? And how peaceful, how, I don't know what the word is, happy they feel. They're at ease. And I continue my attention sweeping up my lower legs. Feel the muscles in my calves and the skin. And imagine all those muscles and skin and the bones as well, as if they're soaked in warm, comfortable water. Relaxing, feeling this beautiful comfort with no stress on them at all. They're at ease. I know the feeling of ease is always very pleasant. That's why this part of meditation is a fun thing to do. It also has great benefits. Your body heals much quicker. And I go to my knees. <coughs> Many people these days have knee replacement surgery. This is much more effective than that. To actually to be aware of your knees. Heal them yourself. Now aware of the feelings in both knees. I relax everything. So knees, you don't have to perform. You don't have to do anything. Just take a break, relax. And I developed this phrase, which I'm sure you've heard before, relax to the max. That's kind of what I say to my knees. If I find any tension there at all, I'd focus on it with kindness. Kindness relaxes it. And again, you do get sensitive to know what relaxation feels like. It is a beautiful sensation. Everything is settled down there. I can move up to my thighs, feel them, <coughs> experience all the sensations there. And make sure everything in those big muscles called my thighs are as relaxed as they can possibly be. So it's comfort, but deeper comfort than usual, because I'm focusing on relaxing the muscles in my upper legs. I've learned how to do that. And I go to my buttocks, my butt, and feel the pressure of my body on the cushion, and that pressure passing through those muscles called my butt. I just check them, I can't get rid of that feeling. I just kind to it. And it eases off. It feels less of a pressure. And of course, it disappears after a few minutes. And then, above my buttocks is my waist. And when I look at my waist, it's not in a comfortable position, so I'm going to just adjust my back, straighten the back up and 
My waist really appreciates that. It's in my meditation position. And it feels good. Actually, it feels better than good. There's a little rush of pleasure in that waist when I straighten my back. It felt good. When I do have a, an experience of pleasure, delight in my body, especially like in the waist, I just stay there for a while. When you make your meditation enjoyable, you want to meditate more. And you see the benefits of it. Now my waist is really relaxed. Just quickly go up and at the back of my body, the spine. Make sure that everything is in order there. I'm going to have to sit like this for half an hour. Sometimes we sit longer. I'm going to make sure everything is in its right place. And it's easy to sit for long periods. But then once the back is fine, go back to the, the bottom of my torso and then go up the digestive system in the lower part of my body. Because monks don't eat in the afternoon or evening, my digestive system is usually very peaceful at this time of day. I did have a cup of tea earlier, but that doesn't irritate my bowels or intestines. But if I do find any tension as I sweep up my body, I pause there and I just soak that area with kindness, with compassion. May that part of my digestive system be at ease. The kindness relaxes and gives you a sense of freedom. You don't have to live up to anything or perform or do anything. So you can let go of tightness, even in your body. And continue going up my digestive system till eventually there's nothing much going on there today. It's just very peaceful. And find my stomach. When I get to my stomach, make sure that's at peace. And sometimes you may have a sore stomach, eating something you shouldn't have. I even do this in those situations. You can take an ache or a pain in the tummy instead of just trying to annihilate it with a sort of a, a pill, you're just kind to it, let it be. Just the way your body is reacting to something which you shouldn't have eaten. When you relax with it, it allows healing to happen. Many tummy aches have gone that way. Even food poisoning went once when I did this. Just relax the tummy so much, the spasms stopped. You go further up the body to your lungs. If there's any aches or pains in the organs around your back, liver, kidneys and stuff. I'm not quite sure which one is which. If I do find any ache or pain, in the back, just pause there, give it kindness. I care for you, liver. And you mean it, it's not a joke. Until it relaxes. Sometimes you can see that with wild animals. A couple of kookaburras were hanging out in the dining room of Bodhinyana Monastery on the veranda. Just look at them and give them kindness. 
No, they don't go. <laughs> Stay there. They feel safe. They can relax. It's like my lungs are relaxing. Eventually I get to my shoulders. There's always some tension in the shoulders. Maybe it's because of the way we walk, lifting things, doing stuff. So now I learn how to relax both shoulders. Today I just feel the sensations. I just ask them kindly, just to loosen up. To let go. I know how to do that now. For all those years, you learn by trial and error how to deliberately relax the muscles in your shoulders, in your own shoulders. And as I often mention, the benefit of mindfulness, one of its benefits, is you get feedback as you're aware of your shoulders, if you're following me, you're aware of what makes it more tight, what makes it relaxed. You soon learn, trial and error teaches you how to relax your own shoulders. Just the same way when you're at school you learn how to write by trial and error, how to move the muscles in your hand to write your own name. Now you're learning how to relax your own shoulders. And I go down my arm, the upper arm is nothing much happening there, but I go down it checking first of all my elbows, forearms, wrists, and then the fingers. Usually I change the position of my fingers, but this evening my fingers feel fine. So you can stay like that. Let your body decide what's a good posture. And the criteria is it's comfortable. And I'm going back up to my shoulders, to my neck, making sure the head is not too far forward, not too far back, not to the left, not to the right. It's like balancing the head on top of the shoulders. When it's balanced, it feels right. And I know I can leave it like that for the half an hour with no aches or pains. And lastly, I go to the muscles in my face, noticing any tension in the head, the forehead, or around the eyes, the nose, the mouth. And when I put my awareness to those places, it's pretty easy to relax those muscles around my forehead. Sometimes I imagine there's something putting those muscles apart, stretching them. And I tell both ends of that stretch, let go. No one's looking. You can just be around the eyes. I don't screw the eyes down tight. I just let them close enough so it shuts out the light. And everything else is at ease. Around my mouth, if I do anything, I just turn up the corners of my mouth so a little smile. It makes the meditation much more easy with a little smile on your face. And having been aware of the body part by part, then I can experience the whole body, like joining everything up together. And just making sure everything is in a good place. It's the last chance just to adjust the body. But more than that, 
This evening, as usual, I can feel the whole body is pretty relaxed. And I get the delightful sensation of bodily relaxation. When I'm aware of that, which I am right now, the body relaxes even more. The delight of relaxation is the cause for deeper relaxation. Later on, in the mind, the delight of stillness makes you more still. You just go deeper. And now is the time to let the body go. As I let the body go, I go to the mind. To make it easy to know what to look at, choose peace as your object. How peaceful are you right now? The opposite of peace is like agitation. So you're aware enough to know how peaceful you are or how agitated. It's a good way to start to experience your own mind. What makes you more agitated? A lot of time it's trying to get somewhere. No future. If you care about the future, now is where your future is being made. Keep the attention in the present moment with some kindness and the best you can possibly do for the future. And as for the past, this is not the time to figure it out. You learn much more from the present than you will ever learn from the past. What does peace feel like? Once one has an awareness of peace and you give it kindness, peace in this present moment becomes enjoyable. It's like having worked all day, having walk so far, you find a very soft chair to sit on. You can relax. Peace is where your mind can relax. Right now. And if you stay in this moment, you will soon discover what silence means. Your thoughts are not necessary. You feel, experience without words what it's like to be peaceful. Words just disturb you. So you soon Enter silent, present moment, awareness. I will be quiet now. 
until the end of the meditation.
It's close to the end of the meditation now. Don't open your eyes yet. But how do you feel? What's it like inside? What is peace like as an experience? Not a philosophy, what you actually feel. To me it's just so delightful, so freeing. And how does your body feel? My body was pretty relaxed 10 minutes ago, now it's really relaxed. This is where you can get good health from. The body's so at ease. So I'm now going to ring the gong three times. When the gong finishes sounding for the third time, so don't exit meditation too fast, sometimes it's like pouring hot water into a cold glass. Just enter gently, exit gently, slowly, as you come back into the world. Excellent.